presidential visit as Texas recovers from a catastrophic winter storm. President Joe Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden spending six hours and counting here in Houston. And just over an hour ago, the president telling Texans that we will get federal help as we rebuild and recover. And Jill and I wanted to visit Texas today for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, let the people of Texas know our prayers are with you in this aftermath of this winter storm. And secondly, to uh, let you know uh, what I told Governor Abbott and Mayor Turner and Judge Hidalgo and the congressional delegation, that we will be true partners to help you recover and rebuild from the storms and this pandemic and the economic crisis. We're in for the long haul. President Biden speaking there at NRG Park, where a FEMA super site is now vaccinating thousands of people every day. President Biden has now left NRG. His motorcade is now on its way to Ellington Field, where Air Force One is waiting to take the president and the first lady back to D.C. Now, there were three stops for the president here in Houston today. Houston Transtar, Houston Food Bank, and NRG Park. Storm recovery was the main focus of his trip, but the president is also highlighting the coronavirus and vaccinations while he's here. We do have live team coverage for you tonight of the president's visit, starting with Brandon Walker live at NRG Park tonight. Brandon? And good evening to you, Chris. The president's motorcade departed for Ellington Field at 513. His speech here lasted some 20 minutes, and overall, it pushed unity. The president's role in all of this, the White House says, is that of consoler in chief. But as you mentioned, dual significance being here. On one end, you've got vaccinations, this being one of three super sites run by FEMA, vaccinating thousands of people daily. But on the other, you've got the recovery from the big freeze. And so with that, I've got a few points from the president's speech to share with you as far as federal response to that is concerned. President Biden, again, speaking for some 20 minutes here, uh, for vaccines, he says some 50 million people have been vaccinated since he took office ahead of his schedule for 100 million vaccinations within his first 100 days of office. The president also says 500 pharmacies will offer vaccinations nationwide. That means 50 here in the Houston area. And he says that that should help with access to storm relief. FEMA today announcing some $9 million in individual assistance already issued statewide to folks. That's the other focus of the president's trip, which included a tour of the Harris County Office of Emergency Management. That at around uh, just before 1 o'clock today. There, Mr. Biden heard from Governor Abbott, County Judge Lena Hidalgo, and other officials about what is needed in order to recover from last week's deep freeze. The president says FEMA has distributed some 2 million meals, 2 gallons of water. Also, the EPA office offering testing throughout the state and 60 generators to help keep the lights on at hospitals statewide. Overall, the president said Texas's recovery is crucial. Also, he says it's not political. We're not here today as Democrats or Republicans. We're here today as Americans. The American leaders with responsibility, all of us here in this parking lot, responsibility to all the people we serve. And when a crisis hits our states, like the one to hit Texas, it's not a Republican or Democrat who's hurting, it's our fellow Americans who are hurting. And it's our job to help everyone in need. Look out for one another, leave nobody behind. That's what we've seen today in our visit. A who's who of local, state, and federal uh, elected officials here, too, including Texas's senior Senator John Cornyn. Notably absent, though, was Senator Ted Cruz, who instead spoke at a conservative uh, political conference today. Meantime, within the past few minutes, we heard from Mayor Sylvester Turner, who overall applauded the president's speech today. But he also pointed out the fact that Houstonians need help now. And when you talk about federal aid, you always know that it takes some time for that money to trickle in. So the mayor saying that the city of Houston and the people of Houston will watch the federal government for that response that the president says will happen. The president says is already happening. We are live tonight at NRG Park. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News. And Brandon, as you mentioned earlier, the governor also lobbying the president for more of our counties to be put on the disaster declaration. Thank you for that. We